Good morning and good afternoon, fellow crafters. This week's craft is so fun, but everything that you need to create this wave bottle, you will have at home. Really kind of hard to hand these craft supplies out to you, but what you're gonna need, obviously, is an empty plastic bottle, whatever kind you happen to have on hand. Um, and what you're going to do is you're gonna fill up your bottle about a third of the way with water or vinegar. You can use either, I used water. It smells a lot better. Then you are going to fill it up um, almost to the top with baby oil. Now that's what I use and it's it's very, very inexpensive and you almost always have it on hand. If you don't have baby oil, you can use any kind of other oil you have in your kitchen, vegetable oil, canola oil, anything like that. This lighter in color is going to work better for you than a darker oil like an olive oil. So really that's all you need for this craft. But of course I had to make mine a little bit blingier. So I added loads of glitter and I had some fun, tiny little seashells that I had picked up from my favorite beach, Cocoa Beach, and I added those in there as well. So it's very sciency. Oil and water do not mix with each other, which is why you can see the difference between the two in the coloring. And why is it blue, you ask? I'm glad you asked because I added some blue food coloring to it. So you can, I added quite a bit to make mine a darker blue, but of course you could make yours lighter if you wanted to, whatever you happen to have on hand. And if you don't have it on hand, all of these supplies are available at the Dollar Tree. So you can not spend a lot of money and have a lot of fun. One other tip I do have for you is to glue your lid on so there aren't any messy oil, water, glitter accidents after you put this together. I hope you have so much fun making it and it is just so relaxing to watch. Until next time, we'll see you at the Maitland Public Library.